that has been happening of late and we have noticed it and it's happening silently, uh, but it's a phenomenon that needs to be checked and that is diabetes, the incidence of diabetes amongst the youth. And um, most of us are parents, um, we have young people in the house and there are a few things that we need to look at uh, to ensure that we don't bring up uh, a generation of diabetics and people who are struggling with uh, lifestyle diseases. And that is why we today we decided to have this session to discuss about diabetes and basically nip this thing in the bud. Um, they say as teaching time saves nine. So that is why we are here today. Uh, for the people who are seeing me for the very first time, my name is Fred Gishuki. Uh, Fred is an entrepreneur in the wellness space. I've been in this space for the last more than 20 years, going to 26 years right now. And I joined the wellness industry as a young man. I was not unwell uh, physically, but I was unwell in the pocket. I was looking for money. And uh, somebody introduced me to this industry and I joined immediately. Um, my motivation, like I said, was money. But the first benefit I got was health. My parents were unwell. They were suffering from uh, high blood pressure from my mom and um, ulcers from my dad. Um, I put them through a program uh, that is from our company and they used the products and they got well. And that gave me a lot of confidence to now go out and share this message with everybody. Um, I ended up building a huge business, which has uh, sustained me by the age of 30. I was I retired into business and I've been doing this for many years now. And um, there are many benefits that come with the business, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, today, other than talking about diabetes, we have a special guest speaker who is coming to talk to us. He's a young man. Um, I think he should be in his 30s if I'm not wrong, but he will tell us all the way from Uganda. And this is a guy who is building a huge business, doing very, very well in Uganda. Um, and he's going to be sharing with us a little bit shortly. But I just want to start off here and let's look at uh, diabetes and what is diabetes and why should we be concerned about diabetes? And the first thing that you need to look at is that you are never too young to have diabetes in my, Life, I've actually seen many young people uh, with diabetes. Now, what is diabetes and what happens to your body? Um, basically, diabetes means too much sugar. Uh, sugar, you get sugar from different foods. Um, ideally, sugar should be used in your body for energy. Um, and you need sugar, definitely. Everybody needs sugar so that the body can be able to function properly. Um, your pancreas makes insulin, which helps the body to use the sugar or to break it down. Now, without the right amount of insulin, um, too much or not enough sugar stays in your blood. Uh, if your body doesn't produce enough insulin, then excess sugar stays in your blood, and that causes diabetes. Now, bodies need just the right amount of glucose and the right amount of insulin. Now, the types of diabetes, we have three types of diabetes. There is what we call gestational diabetes that happens to women when they are pregnant. Um, and this diabetes can be both harmful for the lady as well as the child. Then we have uh, type 2 diabetes, and this is the most common form of diabetes. Now, this one happens because of our lifestyle choices, what we decide to do, what we decide to eat or not eat. Uh, our lifestyle uh, that we lead, um, and we are going to look a little bit into that. Um, but the good thing is that there are things you can do to prevent type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, um, that happens in the youth, in the young people, and usually happens because of autoimmune conditions. Um, mainly it cannot be prevented, but it can be managed, and usually occurs in children. Uh, it forces people to take insulin on a daily basis. Now, the main reason why we are here today is because of this particular issue that is the incidence of type 2 diabetes amongst kids is rising at an alarming rate. Um, now, 
from a statistic here that was uh, done by the American Diabetes Association, uh, the number of newly diagnosed cases of type 2 diabetes among children has grown from less than 5% in 1994 to about 20% in the recent years. And they're now saying that one out of five children in America are either overweight or obese. Right now, um, in Kenya, this phenomena is, is, is actually catching on. And um, you'll find that most children are now overweight. They are big bodies. And, um, and the more affluent the family is, the more overweight the children are. And that is actually a, a worrying trend. Now, children diagnosed with type 2 diabetes face a high likelihood of developing complications before the age of 30. Now, the, a new study recommends that Black kids, Hispanics, uh, have an 80% um, and 57% um, more likelihood to get type 2 diabetes. Now, uh, researchers found that among 500 children and teenagers with type 2 diabetes, 60% developed at least a complication in the next 15 years. Some of the complications are uh, nerve damage, eye disease, and kidney disease. Now, you don't want your kid to start going into dialysis and all that kind of thing um, when they are still young. Now, teenagers and diabetes. Now, the statistics again there says one in five people with diabetes don't know that they have it. Yeah. And I will ask you a question. You on the call, our guest or our distributor, are you aware whether you have diabetes or not? When was the last time you checked um, your sugar levels? Truth is, most people don't check until they become sick. And then again, they start now running around and um, they have to go on insulin and that kind of thing. Now, um, new research uncovers concerning increases in youth living with diabetes. The search for diabetes in youth uh, study examined new cases of diabetes diagnosed under the uh, age of 20 years. Um, now, some causes of diabetes. Um, most people, uh, um, there are few, several countries here which have been, or several uh, continents, talking about America, Africa, Native America, Alaska, um, Pacific. Uh, these are people who are at risk of diabetes. If you have a family history of type 2 diabetes, then you are at risk. Uh, if any of your parents, um, grandparents had diabetes, most likely you're going to get it. Mm. Now, a pregnant woman with diabetes mellitus or developing gestational diabetes uh, during pregnancy uh, will develop that diabetes during pregnancy and then recover after uh, giving birth. Now, if a baby is born overweight, then they are more likely to get diabetes. Uh, if a child is overweight, they run a risk of getting diabetes. Lack of physical activity. Nowadays, our kids tend to spend more time indoors playing games, PlayStation and phones and all that than playing out there like uh, we used to do in the olden days. So lack of physical activity in children um, is likely to put the kid at risk of getting diabetes. Damage or removal of the pancreas, uh, too many uh, medications, um, then for some people, uh, of course, eating the wrong foods, eating sugary, sweet, sweet things. And um, I remember there's a doctor who talked to us, I don't know that it was Dr. Fatima Abdallah, and she was saying anything sweet is not good for your body. And uh, always have that. If something is sweet, uh, and if it's not a fruit, then it's not good for your body, yeah? Then uh, autoimmune conditions uh, or hormonal diseases, can also cause the body to produce too much hormones, uh, which can actually create insulin resistance. Then uh, eating small or limited amounts of healthy food. The body needs healthy food, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, uh, to be able to do its processes and produce energy and that kind of thing. 
Now, when you're eating very little um, in the way of process, in the way of healthy foods, uh, then the body is starved for healthy food. And now it goes to looking for other sources of energy. And that's where the body uh, craves now for sweet, sweet things. And the kid is always craving for more junk food. So it's important to give enough healthy fruits in terms of fruits and vegetables. Now, causes of diabetes, a summary of causes of diabetes, um, a sedentary lifestyle, eating too much food, obesity, too much stress is also not for you, good for you because uh, stress lowers your immunity and brings a host of problems to your body. Family history, uh, of course, increasing age as you grow older. Now, uh, diabetes in children, what are some of the symptoms in babies? Uh, weight loss, um, frequent urination, and some of these symptoms also apply to adults. Uh, sudden weight loss, frequent urination, unusual behavior, being very thirsty all the time, fatigue, uh, diaper rash, blurry vision, excessive hunger, frequent infections, and drowsiness. So these are some of the um, symptoms that might indicate that a child could be developing diabetes. Um, then you look at diabetes with teenagers and uh, it's important for us to know the symptoms again. And um, if you're always tired, uh, urinating frequently, sudden weight loss, um, wounds that don't heal. Um, if you're always hungry and you're eating, you're not getting full. Maybe it could be you're developing diabetes. Blurry vision, um, numb or tingling hands and feet. I, I dare say that these symptoms also apply to adults, not just youth, but these are general symptoms for diabetes, which you should be aware of. Um, sexual problems, if you lose interest in the bedroom, um, vaginal infections, uh, if you're always thirsty, then it might be that you're developing diabetes. You need to go in for a checkup. You need to make some lifestyle changes so that you can be able to avoid it. Now, um, let's look at what, what are some of the complications that might arise uh, because of diabetes. Uh, we are talking about eye disease, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma and cataracts. Um, renal failure, your kidneys can fail, um, get a diabetic foot where you actually, your foot start getting numb and the nerves start dying off. And if you don't take care of it, it can lead to amputation. Uh, you can get a stroke, you can have problems with the brain, uh, heart damage, nerve disease um, uh, called peripheral neuropathy. And arteriosclerosis is, can also happen. Um, and insulin resistance can also occur. So these are some of the complications that arise uh, because of diabetes. Now, the key thing with diabetes is to prevent it. If you can prevent it, remember we said when we started, a stitch in time saves nine. So if you can take corrective measures right now in your lifestyle, to prevent yourself from falling sick with diabetes, uh, the better for you. Because once you get it, dealing with it becomes uh, quite, quite uh, complicated. So try as much as possible to take corrective measures, take preventative measures to ensure that the youth that you're bringing up uh, do not develop diabetes. Now type two diabetes and the youth, what can you do? Um, some of the things that you can do to avoid this is to drink enough water, uh, to limit the amount of sugary drinks that you're getting. And uh, I always try to remind people that, remember anytime you take a, um, a bottle of soda, just know that you've swallowed eight tablespoons of sugar. Uh, that's about 300 ml of drink and you've taken eight tablespoons of sugar, that's crazy. And if you're doing that on a daily basis, uh, you're playing around with too much, pumping sugar into your system and you're eating chips and all these things, then you're asking for trouble. So it's important to make the right decisions. Eat more fruits and vegetables, limit high calorie foods, 
um, make physical activity fun. Um, and you can do it as a family, can involve the whole family. Now let's look at what are some of the solutions and what can one do to either prevent themselves or uh, to, to ensure that they don't get diabetes. There are three things that determine how healthy you are. And the first one is exercise. You have to exercise um, at least 30 minutes a day of some vigorous exercise that makes your heart pump. Uh, when your heart is pumping, then everything else in your body functions. And I remember there's a fitness instructor shared, that shared that with us. And I thought that makes perfect sense. But that anytime your heart is pumping because of being strained, then it fixes everything in your body. But if your heart does not pump for a whole month, it has not pumped uh, vigorously for a whole year, then you're asking for trouble. Uh, rest, you need to sleep at least uh, seven to eight hours on a daily basis. Uh, good quality rest is very, very important. It enables the body to rejuvenate itself. Diet is also very, very important. And uh, somebody says that in nowadays people are digging their graves with a fork and a knife. You don't want to be in that category whereby you're using your own money to kill yourself. Um, so you need to check your diet and you're going to see which kind of diet um, you should be doing. And uh, that's just what I had said, check your BMI, very, very important. Uh, sleep six to eight hours every day. Um, your food can either make you or break you. Now, a healthy lifestyle can present up to 58% of type two diabetes. So you can see your diet plays a huge, huge role. Now there's what we call the wellness pyramid. And this is a wellness pyramid that, uh, this is a new life wellness pyramid, but it was coined from the WHO, the World Health Organization. Now the pyramid on your right tell, shows you the correct way of eating. This is the correct way of eating. Uh, you should have a lot of physical activity and weight management, eat a lot of whole grains, a lot of fruits and vegetables, uh, by a lot, I mean that nine different types of fruits and vegetables daily, uh, different colored. If you want to know that you're eating the right kind of fruits and vegetables, your plate should be like a rainbow with different colors, not white throughout. Um, I come from an area where uh, we tend to have our plate looking the same color with waru, uh, rice and cabbages and, you know, just one color. And that's not good. You need to have different colors on your plate. Then you need to reduce the amount of proteins that you are eating. In fact, they say um, a quarter kilo should be eaten by 12 men. Uh, fats and sugars, a teaspoon of fat and a teaspoon of sugar is enough for you per day. And I'll repeat that. A teaspoon of fat and a teaspoon of sugar is enough for you per day. Question. Today, since morning, how many teaspoons of fat and sugar have you consumed? Today being a Sunday, most families are out having chips and all this. Um, I mean, it's Sunday and um, sodas and that kind of thing. And we tend to binge. But then now the problem comes, um, throughout the week, you've also been binging on chips and all these things. And that is where the problem comes in. Now we have successfully turned the pyramid upside down. So we tend to do very little physical activity. So we tend to become overweight. We eat very little whole grains. We eat very little in the way of fruits and vegetables. We tend to eat more meat, more broiler chicken and uh, all those nice yummy, yummy things. A lot of fats and sugars. And when you're eating the other way around, it's only a matter of time you are actually providing the right environment for type two diabetes. And if you're not careful, um, as you grow older, then you will actually develop uh, type two diabetes. Now, it's time to reverse the trends. And uh, this statistics was done by WHO uh, in 20, they had said by 2020, um, three out of four deaths will be because of a lifestyle condition. We're talking about heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, chronic respiratory disease, and obesity. And right now I know uh, everybody on the call knows somebody uh, who is suffering from one of these lifestyle diseases. 
Now here comes a gentleman, um, a man that I truly, truly treasure, cherish, and this is Jerry Brassfield and his wife Kendra and their daughter. Um, this, this, this family um, is, a, is a special family to all of us. Jerry founded Neolife in 1958. At the age of 19, he had asthma. He used the Neolife products. They worked for him. He saw an opportunity to change people's lives. And he started doing Neolife as a business. Today, Neolife is in 55 countries of the world and still growing. And its mission is to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And uh, Jerry partnered with um, um, other first who formulated the um, scientific advisory board. These are doctors who do the research. They ensure that the products that Neolife produces are healthy, they are safe, uh, they will do what they promise they will do, and they will not have a negative side effect on you as a person. And um, the Neolife difference, um, Neolife believes in based in nature and backed by science. So the products are formulated from natural uh, food that we take. We don't use ingredients that are not in the food chain. And um, all our products are made from natural and organic uh, ingredients, which are, which are good for you. Now, one of the products that will sort you out, that will turn your pyramid the right way up, is called ProVitality Plus. And ProVitality has four items in one. It has tree and end, uh, it has carotenoid complex, um, it has um, omega-3 salmon oil plus, and it has minerals. And um, TRNN is responsible for ensuring that your cell is functioning properly. It has whole grains, so it ensures that your cells are functioning properly and nutrients are able to get in, waste is able to get out. Uh, you become very, very energetic. I remember dealing with a case of a lady who had diabetes, and um, I put her on TRNN. And for the first time in more than 10 years, her diabetes stabilized. The doctor, her doctor wanted to know what are you using? So she took the product to the doctor. The doctor had a look at it. He liked it and he said, bring me a bottle because the doctor was also struggling with diabetes. And uh, it was a very, very interesting story. Uh, so 3NN makes a big, big difference. It, it also enables even the medicine that you're using to work the way it's supposed to work. Carotenoid complex boosts your immunity. Um, carotenoid complex slows down the onset of lifestyle diseases by 44%. So you can actually outlive whatever disease that could be in your body. And you know the challenge is most of these lifestyle diseases, you don't get to know that it's about to happen until it has happened. So it's important to take pro-vitality or take carotenoid complex so that you can ensure that you can outlive any lifestyle condition um, that could be um, in the offing, including cancer and many of those serious conditions. Omega-3 salmon is an anti-inflammatory. Uh, Omega-3 is very good, helps the pancreas to function better. Um, it's an, uh, it helps your joints, uh, to pro uh, it helps to uh, create the synovial fluid for your joints for your memory, for migraine, it clears migraine, it's just an amazing product. Then you have multi, multi has uh, minerals, it has enzymes, and it's just a fantastic product. Let me tell you, if somebody is struggling with energy and you give them pro-vitality, they feel like they're on steroids. You feel so energetic, you wonder, hey, where is all this energy coming from? So that's the number one product that you have in your life uh, that um, can sort you out and will sort you out if you have diabetes. Second product is called fiber tablets. And uh, fiber, our fiber is made from both soluble and insoluble fiber. Um, and fiber basically helps reduce the speed at which refined carbohydrates are absorbed into the bloodstream uh, as sugar. And this regulates the function of the pancreas. Now, it contributes to a feeling, a pleasant feeling of, uh, of fullness. Um, and it also regulates intestinal function. It helps the bolus of food to move out of the system. And it uh, helps to kill things like um, flatulence and constipation. And, and I remember um, Don Lawson, uh, one of the, he was a member of the scientific advisory board. He one time shared with us and says that if you take our fiber tablets, it sieves 80% of sugar from blood. 
So you see, when you take a fiber tablet, it's like a broom. It just gets the sugar out of, the, out of your blood. And that can make the difference between um, you developing diabetes or not. So fiber tablets is very, very important for you. The other product that is important is called CoQ10. CoQ10. Now, um, it improves your heart health. Uh, it improves, um, um, helps in regulating blood sugar, um, assists in the prevention and treatment of cancer, um, and reduce the frequency of migraines. Now, CoQ10 is an amazing product. And um, the company, our company took um, more than 30 years to develop this product. And CoQ10 goes to the, to the engine of the cell. It, it uh, produces energy in the mitochondria of the cell. And if there's a product that restarts and helps your organs, internal organs to function properly, it's CoQ10. So if you want your brain, your kidneys, your liver, your pancreas, your, your I mean, all the internal organs of your body, if you want them to function at peak levels, then you need to get yourself a CoQ10. It's an all-round product that all of us need uh, because it actually sorts you out. You don't want to get to a point whereby you get renal failure or um, get a stroke or something like that. Well, there is a product like CoQ10. And I can tell you, um, after the age of 50, the body is producing less than 50% of CoQ10 in your body. And for the body to produce CoQ10, you have to have adequate amounts of fresh fruits and vegetables which tells you that again, we go back to the pyramid. If you're not getting enough fresh fruits and vegetables, then chances are high. Your body is not producing enough CoQ10 and your internal organs are suffering. And that's why you find people becoming so tired all the time, uh, becoming forgetful, uh, becoming sleepy and all that. Next product, uh, chelated zinc, amazing product. Now chelated zinc, uh, has so many benefits, um, prostate gland function, healing ulcers, wounds. Uh, zinc is one of the best product for internal healing. If you have hemorrhoids, if you have ulcers, um, I mean, zinc will just sort you out. Uh, zinc helps to deal with wounds, acne, colds, uh, fever, flu, viruses. Um, and in diabetes, zinc actually helps to, it's one of the ingredients that the pancreas needs to actually now help in uh, uh, producing insulin for breaking down the sugar in the body. And um, if you look at the insulin, the, uh, the synthetic insulin that most patients are using, uh, more than 90% of that insulin that you're injecting yourself is actually zinc. But it's a synthetic form of zinc that builds dependency. Now, when you take our natural zinc, it's made from, um, uh, the natural vegetables that we have, um, it triggers the body to start breaking down the sugar itself. And that is what you need. So zinc is an amazing product. If you want your kids to grow to the full height, if you want, the, if it's a young girl, you want them to have the breasts and to be a, fully la a full lady, then you need to give them enough zinc. Uh, if you want to have a nice voice, a ladylike voice, and um, they need to have enough zinc in their diet. So these are products that I always buy for my kids, and it's a, just an amazing, amazing product. If you don't want to keep rushing to hospital because of colds and flus, then you need to get zinc for the youth out there. Then you have another product. It's called Botanical Balance. Now, this product has been formulated directly to deal with diabetes, uh, to help you control the amount of glucose in the body. And it's important to mention that it has nothing synthetic in it. It has curcumin, uh, it has cinnamon, it has turmeric. These, these, just to mention a few of the ingredients. And these are basically focused uh, to manage glucose uptake, uh, to optimize uh, insulin uptake and maximize insulin receptor function. It's an amazing product. You just need to try it. You don't have to wait until you have diabetes to take botanical balance you actually need to take it before you get diabetes. But in case you already have diabetes, you can also use it uh, to basically manage your sugar level. So these are the products of Neolife. Uh, on top of that, we have another exciting product. It's called Neolife Shake. Neolife is a protein drink with 22 amino acids. 
and it does so many things for your body. Um, it, it actually works on the glycemic response uh, control. That is where it helps the body to burn fat the natural way by balancing the sugar levels in your body. And the body is forced to burn the excess uh, um, fat to produce energy. So if you have a case where a youth is becoming a bit obese and you want to ensure that they burn some calories, this is a product that you need to go for. Uh, you give them for breakfast, so they skip breakfast, they take the new life shake. It is yummy, it is so sweet, it is nice, it, is, uh, it has natural fructose, and they can take it, it is filling, it has fiber in it, it has lipotropic factors, which help to burn cholesterol in the body um, and the bad cholesterol in the body. So you find that uh, you, you can take it for breakfast, uh, take your breakfast at 10, then take it again at lunchtime, take a snack at three, um, and you find that you're actually burning uh, fat in the body and replacing it with uh, some lean tissue. So it's an amazing, amazing product. It is packed with protective antioxidant uh, for the Neolife, um, from Neolife. Now, last but not least is the Neolife tea. Now, Neolife tea, um, it's actually an energy blend and it has uh, various herbs in it. Um, and it has natural um, antioxidants. Um, it has a bit of caffeine in it. So I always advise people if you're allergic to caffeine or if you can't take caffeine, then don't take it. It promotes instant energy, fat burning and efficient metabolism. It's especially good for burning the belly area. And uh, most people will ask you, uh, what do you have for burning the kitambi? I can tell you for me, I use New Life Tea and it burns and burns and burns. It does a wonderful, wonderful job. So let's go to children's nutrition. Um, if you have some children in the house and the children don't like to swallow uh, tablets, what can you give them? If it's an inf infant who cannot swallow tablets, then you give them Liquivite. Liquivite consists of the products you're seeing on the screen combined. That is a Vita Squares Vita Guard. Um, uh, in it, and it has uh, those two combined uh, in liquidite. So, uh, so it's a liquid. Kids love it, but if it is a, a young kid, maybe one year and above, who can chew, who can swallow some tablets, who, who enjoys sweets, kids who enjoy sweets, then you give them Vita Squares, Vita Guard, and Omega Three. These are sweets. They are yummy. They are tasty, and uh, they are packed with some uh, some goodness. Uh, Vita Squares has minerals. It's a multivitamin. It is chewable. It has 180 tablets. Um, it has something we call inositol, which is good for the brain function for the kid. It's just an amazing product. You chew it, it just tastes so nice. Um, Vita Guard is also a sweet. It is yummy. Uh, it is the same as carotenoid complex. It has more than 18 different types of fruits and vegetables. It helps to boost the immunity for the kid. Uh, so the kid is able to uh, prevent itself from getting colds, flus, and basically helps to slow down the onset of any lifestyle disease that the kid is exposed to. Omega-3 salmon oil, omega-3, I talked about omega-3. Here we have a salmon mini, which is basically meant for children. My kids started on, on omega-3 when they were one day old. So your kid is not too young for omega-3. You need to start them immediately. Our parents gave us um, cod liver oil and they gave us um, all these things. They, they were supplementing, they were quite knowledgeable. And they gave us cod liver oil and seven seas. And somehow the parents of today, we've forgotten to give our kids supplements. And then we are wondering, why do we keep on rushing to hospital all the time? So you need to invest in, now we have bet something better. We have something better. So we have salmon oil that you can actually give your children. Now, we can stop diabetes. Yes, we can. Uh, if we take the right decisions, uh, change your lifestyle and uh, prevent yourself from diabetes um, because diabetes is lying ahead, yeah? And just a few pointers there, especially for the youth. Invest in your health today or in or your sickness tomorrow. That's the truth. You either invest in your health today or sickness tomorrow. Now, we are, your body will be around a lot longer than an expensive handbag. So invest in your body. Uh, many people will say, oh yes, the products are good, but I don't have the money. Then the same person goes and buys a very expensive handbag 
very expensive shoe, very expensive suit, and you wonder what are the priorities? What should come first? Is it your health or it is um, the expensive trinkets? You find somebody buying a perfume for 10,000 shillings, um, a, a, a skin lotion, a skin cream for 15,000 shillings, but they're not willing to invest a uh, thousand shillings or two thousand shillings to buy omega three for for themselves. I mean that that is having our priorities upside down because the body that is producing this money, you should first take care of it so that it can continue producing the money, so that you can buy more of these nice nice things and enjoy life. I remember going to see a gentleman. It was a very sad case. Um, this gentleman had been bedridden for over a year because of type two diabetes. Uh, it was somewhere in uh, in Dome, and um, we walked into the compound, and um, in that compound there were about four cars which were parked. He could not drive them. They are his cars, Mercedes Benz. There was a BM. There was a um, Volvo and two other cars that the daughters were driving. He had two daughters, but he himself he could not drive uh, because of type two diabetes. He was now being threatened. I mean, he was being uh, he was actually being taken care of in the house uh, by by nurses and that kind of thing. If he wanted to go anywhere, he would have to be driven by somebody because his feet could not uh, step on the pedals of the car. So you can imagine. I mean, um, and this somebody he told us he had been bedridden for more than a year, yet he was paying school fees for two kids in USIU. That tells you that he had enough money. He had enough uh, passive income that was coming in, he didn't need to work to make money, but he was suffering because he never took time to take care of his health. So take time, invest in your health so that you can also enjoy your money to the fullest. Now, your health is an investment, not an expense. I always do this, I always uh, budget for supplements for my family. So every month I've put an amount that I buy supplements for the family and without fail, I religiously do that. Now the best investment you can ever make is in your own health. So those are just a few tips. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live in. Jim Ron, you don't have anywhere else to live in. Uh, so take care of your body and you want to live to be a ripe old age. So New Life has so many other intervention, not just diabetes. Maybe you're on the call and maybe your issue is not diabetes. We have bone and joint health, we have stress management programs, we have a sharper mind, weight management, energy and fitness, um, uh, fertility issues for both men and women, libido issues, hormonal imbalance, um, children's health, menopausal challenges. So we have quite a number of interventions and solutions in our range of products. So if you're on the call and probably diabetes is not your issue, but you know somebody who has who can fall in the other categories, talk to the person who invited you. Uh, he can be able to guide you on those other issues. Now we are coming to the end of our session and in your life, you have three choices. You can either become a consumer, you can be buying from the person who invited you. If you are a guest, you can decide you want to become a business builder uh, or you can become a seller. It's all up to you. Now, if you become a distributor, a business builder, there's so many benefits that you get from your life. You get personal growth, leadership development. You get to travel internationally, uh, retire healthy and active, build lasting relationships and earn residual income. And I can tell you, this is real. These are all these benefits. I've gotten them from your life. If it is an international travel, becoming a leader, all these things, retiring at the age of 30. So if you're out there and you're looking for a business to do, if you're a young guy out there looking for a business to do, probably this could be an opportunity for you right there. So right now I want to bring in um, a gentleman. Um, I mentioned when I started that um, there's a gentleman that will be gracing our occasion today. Uh, he happens to be a Ugandan and uh, he's a gentleman who has uh, built a huge business um, with New Life from, and he's actually a very young man. So without further ado, I want to bring on Mr. Muhumiza to actually uh, talk to us. Justice? Yes, Mr. Frederick. I can see you. Go ahead. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the invite. 
just a minute. Okay. Okay, there we go. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Frederick Gichoke for the invite. I truly appreciate for you inviting me to come and share my story with the team. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Muhum Zajastas uh, from Kampala, Uganda. And I've been part of New Life for now about uh, 14 years. And I, I want to start by thanking Mr. Freddy Gichuki for the information that he's been able to share with us. To be honest, I think if you were to get this kind of information from out there, it would really be very, very, very difficult. Because I have had chances to go for uh, to, 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 to meet with doctors. In most cases, all they would want to do is to listen to how do you feel, how are you feeling any pain, uh, how, for how long, and then they will simply listen and they prescribe some medicines, and they don't even tell you what you're suffering from. They don't tell you how to prevent it. So when you have an opportunity to listen to this kind of uh, quality information, like what Mr. Gechuki has been able to share with us, honestly, the first thing you should do is to thank to thank him. And if you're a guest and you're listening in for the very first time, you, you, really, you really need to thank the person who sent you this link. So you need to thank them for, for you've been able to get this kind of valuable and quality information. Um, I got started in New Life when I was only 20 years. I'm now years old. And um, when I got started, it was about the money. It was about money because first and foremost, as 20 years, of course, you wouldn't think of diabetes, you wouldn't think of cancer, you wouldn't think of pressure, you wouldn't think of anything. And in fact, every time I actually attended such kind of meetings, all that I was actually always interested in was actually... Uh, sorry about that. Um, when, when I got started, I got started because of the money. I had been just out of school because of uh, school fees issues. And uh, every single time I attended such kind of health talks, I would only uh, actually get was like, um, they've talked about diabetes. Who do I know that actually has uh, diabetes or has someone who has diabetes that I can be able to pass on this information so that I can sell to them products and make money. And that was the end. And for my first five years in the business, to be honest, I never used a lot of product. I only used the majorly about the healthcare, the skincare, the health, even when I would win like an incentive, all I would do, is to look for a customer to buy that product. Because I, at my age, I felt like I never needed these products. But then my attitude changed um, when I, after my first five years of doing your life, my attitude changed and I felt that I need to use these products and I need to get people to use these products. Now, my first scenario was when I was actually invited into a certain home. And uh, the person that I had actually gone to meet was actually, he had diabetes. My goodness, I go. Sorry, Justice, we lost you there. 